When it comes to your 4th of July cookout, hot dogs and burgers might be just the thing you are most excited about. But what do you serve those on? A bun or bread? And you don't get the best bread from your meal going, wanting to go flat. So we are joining Rob Roberts, one of our favorites from Bread Smith, to help us, you know, perfect that barbecue. Well, first, Rob, how are you doing? I haven't talked to you in forever. I'm going to pull this down just for the purpose of doing. Normally, we keep our masks on during all working hours while we're here. Even the night crew wears it. Uh, we ask customers to do it. It's not mandatory, not for the state, not for the CDC for what we're doing. But we're hanging in there. We're doing well. Um, business is picking up. It's summertime. We've actually started farmers markets. We'll be doing the Red River Market starting soon. Today, we're at Detroit Lakes at the Lakes Area Farmers Market right behind Zorba. So we'll be back there on Saturday, too. Oh, that makes me so happy because so many things have been canceled and things are just slowly getting back to normal. But uh, let's just talk for a minute. I mean, farmers markets, that's just about one of my favorite things. And so many people, they just look forward to it during the summer. Well, it's a lot of fun for the staff, for the customers. We're in Detroit Lakes. We've got distancing. We've set up a little bit differently now. We've got fewer vendors because we're trying to do the, all the distancing. We have an exchange station. We're getting some good vendors out there. We have meat vendors from pork, beef, chicken, lamb. Uh, produce is starting to come on. Rhubarbs, peas, uh, baby lettuces, the like. Obviously a lot of pickled stuff, a lot of baked goods. I've got it, other people have baked goods too, but hey, we're all about having fun and having a great time out there. But Lisa, this summer, don't forget fresh pizza dough every day. It's a thrill to grill with our buns, but hey, if you're grilled a pizza, we're ready for you. Oh, I love that. And the thing, people are, are making their pizza now on the grill. So, you know, we're not just talking uh, burgers and hot dogs either. So you are, you're ready. Are you ready for that trend? Oh, well, we've been ready for years. Um, I've done it on a Weber. I've done it on a Big Green Egg. Um, you can also use the dough to make calzones, breadsticks. You can do all sorts of things. You're only limited by your imagination. Okay, I love that. Okay, but we also just have to talk about the uh, the basics. Uh, yeah. We are grilling out. The 4th of July is a big, big barbecuing weekend. And uh, really, like I was talking, a lot of people have taken this week off. It's a great week to be off. Next week off, too. There you go. Got to have okay, that if you're having a picnic, right? These are cheddar pepper buns. Their own, our own little twist on it. Yeah, tops are rolled in nice cheddar cheese. They have tele cherry black pepper in them. Are marvelous. We're doing more and more hoagie buns, so if you want to do a sub sandwich, we got the bread for you. Of course, we have our hand rolled hot dog buns still, our hamburger buns. Oh, and what do you say we brought back for the 4th of July just for you, Lisa? Well, maybe not just for you, but maybe for the kids too. But <laughs> let me walk over here real quick. Hey, it's the 4th of July. Sorry for the hand in the way, but oh, look, sugar cookies, red, white, and blue. Red, white, and blue. I love that. Red, white, and blue just for you. <laughs> That is awesome. I love that. Well, uh, what is going on? Do you need to, to order ahead? I mean, coming into the uh, the big 4th of July weekend, uh, what are some great must-haves for your picnic basket or, uh, you know, to stock the cabin? Well, bars are always good. We've got seven-layer bars. We've got all sorts of muffins, scones, things like that. Cookies, we have chocolate chip sugar. We have oatmeal cranberry. Um, our scones are actually, I like to say they're legendary. They're, they're actually moist. When so many people have been to these different shops they take them out of the freezer they're kind of dry ours are so it's a real thrill right here lisa is a cinnamon sweet swirl sugar sweet swirl cinnamon claws bostock seven layer bars and hey if you don't want to go make a pizza buy a focaccia for me don't they look lovely i think it tastes better when someone else makes it too <laughs> so i'll let you make it well cleaning is a lot better when somebody else cleans too so what's your point <laughs> exactly Okay, but also, can we talk on, you said, if you don't want to cook it, bake it, it's hot, so I don't want to heat up my cook kitchen. I'll just let you do it. Absolutely. Do it. You can take, if you want to make a sandwich in the lake, you can, but now's the time of year to fire up the grill. Don't heat up the kitchen. Throw your pizza right in the grill. It's easy to do. You oil your grill, get it nice and hot, throw it on there for about five, six, eight minutes. As soon as it starts turning color, pull it off. Some people will flip it twice right away. If you have a nice peel with some flour or cornmeal on it, you can just flip it undone on the bottom, done on top, top of everything. If you're expecting to render meats or, or onions or anything like that, pre-cook them. Because really what you're doing is you're just basically grilling the, the, the dough and melting everything together. Then you put it back on for the same amount of time, everything starts to bubble, pull it up, it's ready to go. It's really, really simple. That is a great tip. 
and you don't you don't need a stone. It's better with the indirect heat, but you can do it direct too. It just happens a little faster. You may not get the dough done as middle as much as you want in the middle. Okay. Well, you've been doing this forever. What is typically the most popular uh, pickups right before a holiday weekend like this? Buns, buns, buns. Yeah, you don't want to run out, right? No. And you know, every Friday and Saturday we've got cinnamon buns, which is always a you know pleasure for people. You know, our dessert breads are great. By the way, Lisa, just you know. We're pre-slicing a lot of our bread every day to make it faster for everyone to be able to grab it and go. Um, we don't slice everything because, hey, not everyone wants it sliced. So that's why we've got all these other ones out here. Oh, look, English muffin bread today. Delicious. Down here, cinnamon swirl. Vietnamese cassia cinnamon and good old butter. What's not to like? Okay, I feel like this is oh. like almost mean because usually you come into the studio and you bring all of this deliciousness in with you and then I get to sit and eat all of it during the uh, commercial break. But just looking at all of that, I need to make my breadsmith run for sure. What's that now? That one's our freedom bread. It's a honey white dough with cranberries and blueberries. So we make it as a, we usually do about twice a weekend, twice a month on Fridays and Saturdays. This time of year, obviously this week we're doing today, Friday and Saturday also. Oh my goodness. By the okay. way, Lisa, just you know, we were talking about farmers markets. The Lakes Area Farmers Market will be open this Saturday. Our store will be closed. There'll be lots of vendors down there, and there might be a bread vendor down there. I'm not sure. Anyway, I'll be at the Lake of the Boat Parade, hopefully, if we don't get rained out. So I won't be there, but I think we'll have a crew there. And what are the hours of the flea of the uh, farmers market? Uh, 10 to 1, Monday, Tuesdays and Saturdays. Okay, 10 to 1. And one more time, where's your location? We're located in the South Fargo at the corner of 17th and 32nd Avenue South. We're open Monday through Friday, 7 to 6, Saturday, 7 to 4. In the, the, the farmer's market down in Detroit Lakes, it's Tuesdays and Saturdays, 10 to 1. People's parked right behind Zorba's. So we can hear the people having fun at Zorba's. We can hear the boats going by, but we're a block just off, the, off to the north. All right, easy to find, Rob. Always great to visit with you. Happy 4th of July early. Have a great Happy weekend. July. We'll you talk too. to you again soon. Bye-bye. Stay with us coming up next here on North Dakota Today. Some dishes that will fit right in at the barbecue while still allowing you to fit into those skinny jeans.